Six News Storm Team. Hey Taylor, how's the weather? <laughs> Well, those were my friends, Jamie, Joan, and Samantha. I've known Joan for a long time, so thank you guys so much for sending that in. They were making their way from Minnesota to Linton over the weekend and decided to stop in Jamestown and do that video, so thank you guys so much for sending that in. I went ahead and made you guys your own forecast for tonight for the Linton area, even if you guys aren't still around. Uh, temperature tonight will be in the low 40, 40s with mostly clear skies and winds out of the east around five to eight miles per hour. So once again, Miss Joan, Jamie and Samantha, thank you guys so much for sending that my way. And right now in Minot, we're seeing mostly cloudy skies as some rain showers might be popping up on the edge of town. Temperature there is 61 with winds out of the east northeast around 16 miles per hour. So a bit of a breeze for the uh, Magic City as well. Bismarck right now temperature is at 58 with winds out of the east around 15 miles per hour. Also hearing some rumbles of thunder right now in the capital city. Temperatures are anywhere from the mid to upper 50s into the upper 70s. So a little bit cooler in the east where those rain showers and isolated thunderstorms are rolling through. It's 68 for Garrison, 73 in Watford City and feeling pretty warm in the west there, 76 for Wolf Point. And winds right now are mainly out of the west southwest or east southwest, excuse me, around 5 to about 10 miles per hour. So a nice light breeze out there this afternoon. However, if we take a look at our wind gust forecast by tomorrow afternoon for western North Dakota, winds are going to start to pick up, gusting up to around 20 to about 30 miles per hour. And then winds will die down by tomorrow night, rolling into Wednesday morning. However, by Wednesday afternoon, once again, much of the state will see these winds picking up, gusting up to around 20 to about 30 miles per hour. So we do have a breezy couple of days ahead of us anyway. We do have some rain showers out there at the moment as well, along with some isolated thunderstorms just outside of Harvey now. Might be seeing some lightning along with that thunder. A little further southeast around Edgeley and Jamestown, seeing some of that heavy rain roll into the area once again, along with some thunder and lightning, but nothing severe for us is expected throughout the night tonight. We might see a special weather statement or two pop up for us, but if we roll precision cast here, many of these showers and storms will dissipate later into the evening. Might still see a few of them around central North Dakota by 7 p.m. this evening. And then rolling into the night tonight, early tomorrow morning, skies will dry up for us and then we'll have increasing clouds into tomorrow evening for western North Dakota. Once again, it's going to stay pretty dry rolling into Wednesday. However, late Wednesday night going into early Thursday morning, that's when we see another chance of rain rolling our way for western North Dakota. Now, if we take a look at our fog forecast, we do see that late tonight into early tomorrow morning, uh, visibility could be reduced mainly for eastern North Dakota. However, rolling into the later hours of the morning tomorrow, skies will start to clear up for us as the afternoon passes. So lows tonight will be dropping down into the 40s for the most part, a low around 42 in Minot tonight, 45 in Bismarck. Some areas in the far east here might be even dropping down into the upper 30s. So it's definitely going to feel pretty chilly out there tonight. Here's Dickinson's five day planner. It's going to stay breezy heading into Thursday. And then by Friday, temperature is going to be in the mid to lower 70s. In fact, for the week ahead of us, it's going to stay pretty on par for average temperatures. It's going to feel a little warm by Wednesday as we get that chance of rain rolling our way by Wednesday night into Thursday morning. And then Friday for Bismarck, skies will dry up and we're going to see quite a bit of sunshine out there over the weekend once again. And then temperatures will be into the mid to upper 70s by Saturday and Sunday for Minot, Joel. So I know you went to some rummage sales over the weekend and I gave you 50 cents. Mm -hmm. What'd you bring me? I picked up a strand of uh, Halloween lights, the orange kind. Oh, uh, <laughs> orange isn't even my favorite color. You know, well, it's, that's a Halloween color. <laughs> All right, that's, well, I'm looking forward to... I'd love to say uh, I loaded the trunk, but I was no. cut short on time. We had to go out of town for something, so oh. I, didn't, I didn't get to hit like 200 of them like I wanted oh, to. So did you find any other good deals or no? Not really. Oh, I what mean, the heck? One or two. Next but time, that was right? About it. Let's hope. Yes. Let's hope. <laughs> Still to come on KX News at 4. Marking 22 years since...